It was a busy and hectic time for most reporters, cameramen and their production crew as most had to stunt the whole day in order to get the right framing to tell the story. And this can perhaps give you an understanding of how tough it can be for a cameraman. Others had to set up on the streets for their reporters to do what they know how to do best. But in high-profile meetings of this nature, most cameramen do extremely well, mounting their gadgets early and getting acquainted with the venue before the start of each session. So my question is, in the, in the, in the new program, uh, is it intended to... The few who came in late had to struggle to position themselves well, sometimes with much difficulty. So my question is, in the, in the, in the new program, uh, is it intended to provide specific... I also had to find my footing in order to take good visual images to tell my story, although not a trained professional camera person. But even with some professionals, the best positions could not serve the needed purpose. Some had to crawl, squat, sit on the floor and assume awkward positions just for the benefit of viewers who are key stakeholders in news production and consumption. My ingenuity in my new role as a camera person was put to test when every journalist wanted to get a soundbite from the director of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde. This was the best shot I came out with. Simply because I was the shortest amongst them all. Indeed, it was a tough and challenging experience operating as a multi-skilled journalist, considering the number of sittings one had to attend in a day, but it was worth the experience. Rebecca Iwa for GBC24.